Now, do you ever feel like dirt? You just feel like you're just dirty and you just, I mean, you're so low that you just feel like dirt. But there's a reason for that. It comes in Genesis <laughs> that he took the dust of the earth and made man. <laughs> so originally we were dirt. But the, praise God that he gave us and breathe breath in our life <laughs> through our nostrils that his life brought into us and we no longer dirt. Amen. But he also gave us a free will, Ooh. a way of thinking. Amen. He didn't create re robots. He didn't create, you know, that you got to do whatever is going on. But he breathed life in us. Yes. Gave us life. Praise God. Well, I want to look at a verse that's a little bit different. What the Lord gave me a little bit differently. And it's the parable of the sower. And I want to look at it in two different ways. One, are we the dirt or are we the soil that God had made or are we using and looking at other people as soil that he has made let's look at Luke 824 824 I mean 8 Luke 8 4 excuse me there's no 20 in there if you try to find it you know I'll give you a hundred dollars It'd be kind of hard to get it out of me, but that's but that's one thing you don't have. Luke eight four, and it reads, "When much people were gathered together, and they come to him out of every city, mm. he spake this parable: oh. A sower went out to sow his seed, mm -hmm. and as he sowed, some of fell by the wayside." and was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. A hindrance, verse 6, and some fell upon a rock. As soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. Wow. Hmm. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. Mm. And verse 8, and others fell on good soil and sprang up mm. and bare a hundredfold. Mm. He that have ears, let him hear. Oh. Mm. Now I want to look at it two ways. If we were made from the dirt of the land, we should be good soil also. But there are things in our lives that happens that we can look at this. Mm. It says the sower or the farmer mm. went out to sow his seed and he sowed. Some fell the wayside and has trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it. Well, what what does that really mean to us mm. if we're the soil? Mm. This is sometimes our, even as believers, we can be so complacent that mm. the word of God mm. and the truth can be right there mm. for us. And because there are many things mm. that might give us hindrance and our mind is so preoccupied and other areas that no sooner that the word is spoken to us, no. No. no sooner than the word is spoken to us, we tend to forget it because what happens? The devil wants to keep our minds so preoccupied of the things of this world mm. 
that he snatches that word My. from us. My. Just totally takes it away yeah. and takes it away so it won't be able to penetrate our heart. So yeah. if we don't really believe the word, it's going to be hard to be saved. Mm. So what we have to understand is that even as believers, sometimes we can go, be so distracted Ooh. with the things of what's going on in the word, world. And the word of God can come through us through the scripture or through the Holy Spirit. But because we're so involved in the world My. is that we get this complacent attitude mm -hmm. about the world word that the word is not for us My. so the devil will come along and he just snatches that word from you mm. just totally snatch it from you mm. and so we look at this and <laughs> that are we the type, are we the good soil or are we just plain dirt? Mm. Mm. Are we willing to let the word of God or are we so involved in all the stuff mm. in the world, all of our problems, all of our relationships, that that word mm. is just spread out off our path that we're going mm. and it's just like it says trod it mm. means it's stomped out of our life mm. well the next one it says look eight six says some fell on a rock and as soon as it sprung up it withered because mm. it lacked moisture mm. Mm. You know, down where we were raised, we had this black gumbo soil. Mm. And man, that black gumbo soil, when we didn't have rain, you couldn't put a shovel to it. It was just like concrete. Mm -hmm. I mean, you couldn't do it. Yeah. But when it rained, yeah. it became mush. And you didn't walk out of it because you'd be up to your knees in it. Mm -hmm. But that's the way sometimes it is with us. Mm -hmm. Is that sometimes our heart gets so hardened. Ooh, my. And we're not letting the word penetrate us. My. To let us, let the moisture of it. So that we can sink into the word. Now. Hearts are hardened through, first of all, mm -hmm. deceitful of sin. The deceitfulness of sin. Sin will come into our life. And what sin happens into our life, it gets us to be so hardened. So hardened. Mm -hmm. Because what sin has done into our lives. Mm -hmm. And we're not being able to think straight. straight and we can't even be able to let it penetrate it because our hearts get hardened because of circumstances of life, our sins, our unrepentant sins in our life. Mm -hmm. So we become resistant mm -hmm. to the preaching of the word of God. Ooh, boy. Mm -hmm. We become resistant. Mm -hmm to the word completely because we've let the sinfulness in our life rule and unrepentant sin takes control of us and it can lead to embitterness and then to infirmity. We have this hardness because of what our sin that's unrepentant or the sin of others that have done against us. Mm -hmm. So we get very hardened hearts. That's the reason why a lot of people cannot receive total forgiveness. Mm -hmm. 
They can't receive because of what other people's sin has done in their life. And they harden their hearts to the word forgiveness. That they're not able to forgive themselves. Wow. Wow. So their heart gets hardened. Mm. So we got to release the sin out of our life. And even if we don't know what it is, say, Lord, reveal it to me if there's anything in my life. I want to share something here. I got saved at 17 years old. And people weren't amazed that I was saved because I was always a good kid. Hardly ever got in trouble, not that I didn't do things wrong. Because I don't think they're, you know, the Chinese used to say, I don't know if it's a, a fable or not, but I, I always say it, it is. It says, spank a child every day. If you don't know what they did wrong, they do. And, and a lot of times in our life, we do things wrong. And we have to watch out for that sinfulness in us that we don't get that so hardness. And we have to let that word penetrate mm -hmm. and we learn to be able to forgive others. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people understand God forgives them. They understand that you're supposed to forgive others, but they never have forgiven themselves. And when you don't forgive yourself, mm -hmm. you're saying that your unforgiveness is more powerful than God's forgiveness. Uh, mm -hmm. So our hearts get hardened. <clears throat> and when the word is spoken to us, mm -hmm. we say it's not for us. Well, you just don't know what I've been through. Wow. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I've been dealt in life. Mm -hmm. And you get hardened. Mm -hmm. Your heart gets hardened even to the word of God. Mm. Verse 7. Mm. It says, some fell among the thorns. And, this, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. Mm. Every day, I don't care what you go through, you're going to have problems. Every day we have to decision. Do we keep looking at the problem or do we look at the answer that God has given us? Mm -hmm. Do we seek his face even in our problems? Mm -hmm. Where do we look for the answers? Do we look to the word that comes from the scripture? <coughs> Do we look from the word that is penetrating our hearts by the Holy Spirit? What are we doing? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. Are we going to be soil mm -hmm. that may grow and bloom something? Mm -hmm. Or are we just going to be plain dirt? Mm -hmm. Plain dirt. Luke 8.8 8 says. And another. Fell on good ground. And sprang up. And bare fruit. As a hundred fold. And when he had heard these things. He cried. He that has ears. Let them hear. Where is our ears? When we heard hear the word, do we realize that word is for us? All the promises in the scriptures are for us. Amen. Are, are we like these other people? Are we like 
we look at ourselves. Are we, first of all, are we, don't let the word, we're just so nonchalant going through life and going through the motions. Mm. And the word is presented to us and it has no effect to us at all. Mm. No effect at it all. Mm. And then Satan comes and steals that word from us mm. to keep us from hearing the word of God. Mm. Are, are we the type that because of circumstances in our life, because of heartaches in our life, we've become so hardened. And so hardened that we do not let the word penetrate mm. our deepest recesses of our mind, of our soul. Because we look at the problems in life mm. more than we do the answer which is in the word. Now, are we the type that we do not want to forgive our sins, ask forgiveness for our sins? Mm. And we let sin rule in our lives. Uh -oh. And that caused that hardness of life. Mm. And we don't want to listen to anybody we don't want to hear the word because it comes to us as deep conviction. Mm. And we're letting sin rule in our life. Mm. Now, the last thing is, do we like to feel like we're just dirt? Mm. Ah. Or do we want to let the life that Christ breathed through our nostrils. Oh, Are we this? Now I want to change direction. And I want us to look at our field of harvest out there. I want us to look at who we deal with. If we feel this way, Everybody else feels that way mm. at some part in their life. Mm. And you deal, and God has called us to a ministry of reconciliation. And people say, well, I can't do that. God does not qualify, call the qualified. He qualifies the call. I want you to think on that. Amen. God does not call the qualified. He calls, he qualifies the call. Amen. Amen. So we see this. That we say, well, I can't witness. I cannot do this. I can't do that. You are going to approach people that first of all, they're, they're so nonchalant to the word of God. They don't mm -hmm. believe the word of God. Nah. And you share the word of God. But it's just like it says, if they don't believe, dust your feet and go on. There are so many people that we deal with and deal with and deal with. And we spend more time with some people trying to get the word of God in them that we miss the opportunities of the ones that are ready for it. Ooh, say that again. We spend so much time, let me repeat, mm. of people that are so unbelieving and nonchalant to God in the word mm that we end up missing the opportunity to share the word, the ones that are the good soil. 
we see that there are people, because circumstances in their life, they become hardened. Their heart is hardened. And that's the reason why we need to pray. Lord, soften their hearts. Yes. Father, let them realize that they can come to you and you, he heals the brokenhearted. Yes. He can take that heart of stone and make it pliable. Glory. Mm -hmm. The Lord will send those to us. Again, you might say, I can't do that. I can't do that. They're, they're so hard. You're not doing it anyway. Glory. It's the power of God in you yes. that is able for yes. you to be able to witness to people. Yes, I mean. Oh. I find in my life, I don't have to go around hitting people for 10 pound Bible. Mm -hmm. I can meet a stranger and just talk about the Dallas Cowboys or fishing or, or how mean their kids are. Mm -hmm. Not all kids are mean, but some of them, all of us can be ornery. <laughs> and we have to understand that, you know, they usually open a door for you mm. to be able to share the word to them. But we got to get, like it said, let them have ears to hear. We have to hear what people are saying. Yes. When I taught my pastoral care course around here, and I taught it at other places too, one of the first things I said to be successful as a pastoral care person is shut up and listen. Mm, and if you learn to listen, you have the opportunity. Mm. Because people will open up. Because they all want to vent. Yes. I have a person that calls me a couple times a week and apologizes because it says, well, I just needed somebody to vent to. And I try to share the word and say, well, okay. Now, let's look at the solution. Yes, amen. Which sometimes when I say yes. that, they want to hang up. And I say, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, no. So we see this. And we have to understand there are people, there, there, there are things that come up in each one of our lives. Is there anybody here immune to problems? Anybody here immune, immune to sadness? Sometimes life gets so overwhelming and they just want to choke you out. Mm. And we're dealing with these people. They cannot see the solution because the weeds around them, mm. the thorns around them. And as we said earlier, those thorns are trying to choke out the word of God out of people. Mm. But you know what? There are times that you're going to run to people that are waiting mm -hmm. to hear the word. Yes. Waiting for years. Mm -hmm. Ran across a woman years ago here in this town. And I told her about the church. She never did come to the church, but she told me. I've been here five years, and you're the first person that ever asked me to go come to church. Oh. Five years. Mm. You think her heart was hardened? Possibly so. Wow. Mm. Sometimes I see just a, a friendly word to somebody will open up that door because there are more people that are receptive and wanting the word of God 
than we know. But they <coughs> need to hear. And we need to hear them. Going back to us and the other people. Sometimes we feel like dirt. But when we have a good and honest heart, and that's the way, how do we have a good and honest heart? It's made by the Spirit of God living in us. We learn to receive the word and not only receive the word, we begin to love it. Mm. And we get to the point that we have spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. And we have not a dirt-like experience, but we have a life that's full of experience because the word of God makes us whole. Let's pray. Father God, we know that you, when you created us, you made us out of dust or just dirt. And sometimes we just feel like we're dirt. But Father, you breathe the breath of life into us. And we're constantly looking for life and life more abundantly. Father, as we look at ourselves, that we're able to view others differently. Sometimes we, we're just so nonchalant and we don't even listen to the word. We say it's not for us, which in reality it is. Your word is truth and it'll set us free. And Lord, we sometimes we let things in our life and our relationships and, and our circumstances to make our hearts harden. And Lord, I pray right now that you soften our hearts. Took, take that stony heart and make it flesh that we are able to receive your word. Father, let us don't let the cares of this world and things that try to come up and choke us like the thorns in life, Father. Father, let us get to the point that we become that good soil, that we're able to let the word penetrate in us and that we can bloom but also, Father, that we can view other people. And Father, as we bloom, we let more. It's just like pollen, Father, is that we're able to give the word to them and they may bloom also. Yes. So Father, we thank you right now for your mm -hmm. gift of your word your gift of the Holy Spirit. And Father, that we don't have to be dirt anymore, but we become the good soil that can cultivate, that can grow. Father, grow us now. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.